Vertical Aerospace are now running on the government money. Hey up everyone, welcome to Matt and Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. Well, Vertical Aerospace are not running purely on the government money, but we've got some good news and big update from Vertical. Hot off the plate, Monday the 29th, Vertical Aerospace welcomes UK funding boost for next generation aviation technology. Vertical Aerospace, a global aerospace and technology company that is pioneering electric aviation, today welcomes the UK Department of Transport's announcement that funding has been awarded to projects working on next generation zero emission aircraft and the development of vertical takeoff and landing technology. Among the initiatives receiving support is the Oxcam Advanced Air Mobility Corridor, Oxford to Cambridge, which is bringing together the expertise of Skyports, Bristol Helicopters, NATS, Vertical Aerospace and Oxfordshire County Council. With the aim to accelerate the transition to, of advanced air mobility from trials to commercially viable regional operations within the UK. The project will culminate in planned test flights by Vertical Aerospace's VX4 aircraft. Invested as a part of government's future flight programme, delivered by Innovative UK, the funding is designed to secure the UK's global leadership in the future of aviation. Simon Masters, the Deputy Challenge Director for Future Flight at Innovative UK, sorry, at Innovate UK said, Innovate UK is proud to continue supporting the UK's future flight ecosystem, accelerating the route to commercial operations and delivering a real world impact. These ambitious new projects highlight the strength of sector and its diverse applications from reducing emission, advancing healthcare delivery and protecting our environment. By focusing on regional adoption, we aim to drive faster, more, impact, more impactful growth and societal benefits to communities across the UK. And now listen carefully. The government, the government has committed 2.3 billion British pounds in funding over the next 10 years to the Aerospace Technology Institute program, which helps the sector to manufacture newer, more efficient electric aircraft. This doesn't mean vertical aerospace have just locked in 2.3 billion dollars uh, British pounds. However, long term, they can benefit and they can be securing more and more government boosting and funding, which is great news. With this very program, with this uh, pilot, with this pilot program, they have locked in probably a couple of millions. We will find out shortly. We will find on the earnings call, but uh, we are talking low millions. However, knowing vertical aerospace is very low operational costs, this is good news. We've got comment from Vertical Aerospace. Michael Chervenka, Chief Commercial and Strategy Officer at Vertical Aerospace. By the way, you could see him on our channel very often compared to uh, anyone else. Uh, probably my favorite person from Vertical Aerospace because of his dedication, devotion and enthusiasm. I just... Great. <laughs> So he says, the UK is perfectly positioned to lead the next generation of sustainable aviation by uniting world-class expertise in aircraft design, infrastructure, regulation and operations. This project shows how we can turn ambition into reality. Together, we are laying the groundwork for an entirely new mode of travel that will, transport, that will transform regional connectivity support our economy and put Britain at the forefront of electric flight. So again, this doesn't mean vertical aerospace have just locked in millions and millions and hundreds and of, of billions and trillions of government support, but that means that the government, that the British government are open for business, 
for the eVTOL adaptation and rollout. We know from last week that we have now the pilot del eVTOL delivery program, which says the British government is ready for the eVTOL concept rollout. Uh, this is a this is a this is a, this is a roadmap from now all the way to 2030 and beyond, telling us how the British government and the CAA, Civil Aviation Authority, which is the equivalent of the American FAA, will be implementing and rolling out this concept. So great news because we now have support from all sides and vertical aerospace are in the middle of it. So not only that there will be more government support financially, there'll be more government support in terms of legislation, in terms of uh, regulation, and this is putting vertical uh, in the spotlight on the, on the global market, on the global eVTOL market. So great news, practical side, financial side, legislation side, safety side, regulation side, you name it. So again, the reaction was not massive today. Vertical aerospace has been actually selling off, but long term, this is good news. If you like this topic, if you like vertical aerospace or you are invested in any eVTOLs, uh, if you like advanced air mobility, we are bringing you updates pretty much daily. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because I think it's definitely worth it to stay tuned. I'll be live this week with Joby, uh, with Joby piloted flights in Osaka Expo 25. There'll be some more uh, Archer updates. I'll be giving you vertical updates from last week as well. We will talk about this uh, government, uh, British government rollout and implementation of EV tolls. We'll be talking about it as well. So definitely stay tuned. That's it for now. If you are uh, here is the, <laughs> if, you, if you made it all the way, here is the eVTOL playlist and here is another video. That's it from me. Take care of yourselves and each other.